most of the facts and things as we know as of 10 minutes after 10 this morning. We are trying to broadcast. We've had some technical difficulties. We are on CTS channel eight. Uh, we're also broadcasting it on uh, uh, Facebook with uh, Rhonda Ramsey. And then uh, also we're broadcasting on the uh, district health page, Lake Cumberland district health uh, webpage, and uh, it's on YouTube. So you can see this live at that point. So I apologize for the uh, difficulties in, in what we've had with the technology this morning, but um, it is what it is. But Mr. Crabtree, if you would come and share with us, I'd greatly appreciate it. I'm sorry also for the technical difficulties. Things happen. It's on the, it's live on the Lake Kerlin District Health Department YouTube channel, and it will be stored and saved there. If you if you miss it live, you can always go back and pick it up uh, in a few minutes. So uh, COVID-19, uh, let me give you a little bit of, of history about what COVID-19 is, and then we'll uh, get into some county and district updates. My name is Sean Crabtree. I'm the Health Department Director for the Lake Cumberland District. Uh, coronavirus uh, disease 19 is, is indeed a coronavirus, which is a family of viruses. This particular strain, 19, uh, just a few short months ago was only transmitted among animals. But a few months ago it mutated and made the jump from animals to humans. And shortly thereafter it mutated and was transmittable from human to human. And in, in uh, just a few weeks after that it has, it has become a pandemic. Some people will say that COVID-19 is like the uh, flu or like a cold, and, and in a, a sense, I suppose it is, the way that you transmit it, some of the symptoms you might feel. But I assure you that COVID-19 is a more serious situation. Why do I say that? Well, with seasonal uh, viruses, such as a cold or a flu, there is some residual immunity from the previous year. And generally speaking, there's vaccines available for flus. There is no vaccine for COVID-19, and since it's uh, a virus that's new to the human species, everyone is susceptible to catching it. No one has built up any sort of immunity. Uh, unless you have had it and recovered from it, we, we, as far as we know, no one has caught COVID-19 twice. So our assumption is that if you catch it and recover from it, uh, you would have a resistance to it. Our, most important message that we're trying to get out right now is how important it is to do the things that the uh, Kentucky uh, Commissioner of Public Health is advising, what our governor is advising, that you uh, avoid uh, crowds, that you stay six feet away from uh, each other, what we call social uh, uh, distancing, uh, that you uh, cough into your sleeve, that you uh, stay home if you're sick, and, and those kinds of things that uh, everyone has been saying for several days that we need to do. If you're not doing that uh, as a citizen, you can certainly be a liability to our process. Uh, our citizens can be our greatest asset. Our citizens can be our greatest liability. Our citizens are our greatest asset when they listen to our public health uh, messaging and cooperate with that. Uh, a liability if you are not. What we're trying to do right now is we're trying to slow the spread of COVID-19. Why are we trying to slow the spread of it? Because uh, since this is a, a very contagious virus, we don't want too many people at any one time to be sick. If too many people at one time are sick, then uh, it might overwhelm the healthcare system. So we don't want our healthcare system overwhelmed. So we, uh, we want you to social distance so we can try to, try to decrease the spread of deaths. I was reading in the newspaper this morning that in Lexington, they have switched from the strategy of containment to mitigation. And I know statewide they've stripped, switched from the strategy of containment to mitigation and nationwide. They have switched from the strategy of containment to mitigation. What do I mean by that? Well, when enough people locally uh, are infected and identified as positive cases, at some point it gets beyond the health department's ability to be able to do uh, contact investigations. So we just would say that it's widespread and everyone needs to assume that the people around you have it.
have it. Uh, for now, uh, we're early enough in this, in the Lake Cumberland District, that we still are doing the case investigations and the contact investigations. A case investigation is when we reach out to a positive case, we get their information, we find out who they've been around, and then we do contact investigations, reaching out to the people they've been around to determine at what risk level they are and to give advice. But my advice to you, everyone, is to just assume that it's here, assume that it's all around you, and do the things that we've been advising, to social distance, to cough into your sleeve, stay home if you're sick, uh, and, and all those kinds of things that, that has been being advised. An update in the Lake Cumberland area. Right now, to the best of my knowledge, we have five uh, cases in Pulaski County. One of those is what we would call release. They have recovered from it. Four right now are on self-quarantine. We have one case in Macquarie County who's on self-quarantine. And as of this morning, to the best of my knowledge, we have three cases that we are presuming is confirmed in Lane County. Two of those cases right now are in Lake Cumberland Regional Hospital. One is on self-quarantine. Uh, my staff are reaching out to them to do the case investigations and we will begin contact investigations shortly. Ever since the first case in Pulaski County, I've been on the phone with the administrator at the hospital there uh, very regularly. I have every confidence that the hospital there is doing everything they can to make sure that their uh, patients and staff are safe. In fact, they're going to uh, release a, uh, a, a media release uh, sometime this morning following this uh, public announcement we're doing here in Wayne County since we know there's a, a couple uh, cases hospitalized there. But uh, I, I feel very confident they're doing everything they can to keep everyone safe. So what do you need to do if you feel like you've been exposed uh, what do you need to do? Well, first you need to go to our website at Lake Cumberland District Health Department. And uh, there's a lot of resources there. There's, there's ways to keep your family safe, ways to uh, protect your business uh, by social distancing and so forth. There's all kinds of resources there. There's even uh, a link to a self-assessment tool that the CDC provides where you can go through and, and answer some questions and, and get some, some, some advice. There's also the 1-800 number that uh, is available through the State uh, Operations Center. It's 1-800-722-5725. If you just have a general question about the virus, uh, call 1-800-722-5725. Looking at my notes here to see what I've missed. If you feel like you need to be tested, we would ask you to uh, call your medical provider in advance before you uh, go for testing. We make sure that they are testing. Uh, let them screen you over the phone to make sure you're a positive candidate for testing. Do these things before you just show up uh, so uh, you're not out mingling any more than you have to. And if the, if the facility feels like uh, you're someone that should be tested and, and if they are testing, then uh, they would give you the instructions. So uh, I don't know if anyone in the room has any questions. I, I think I've covered everything I want to cover. Again, I want to reinforce it's important to social distance. Uh, it's important to not touch your face, cough into your sleeve, stay home if you're sick, all of those kinds of things. Use our website. Uh, and if you feel like you need testing, make sure you go call in advance to your provider. Um, let them screen you and, and follow their directions. So uh, thank you for your time, Judge, if you have any closing comments. Well, thank you, Sean, for the uh, update. Uh, again, we, uh, we apologize for some of the technical difficulties that we've had this morning, but the, the main thing is that our prayers go out to those that, that uh, have tested positive. And uh, at the end of the day, we have to stay six feet away from any other individual. Uh, we are working at the courthouse, so we're trying to practice the social distancing. The mayor and I will sign today a uh, executive order closing down the park. Uh, it's already been announced, but uh, because too many people were playing basketball and some of those things. So it's very important that we uh, follow the, uh, the guidelines that's set forth by CDC and, and so forth. So uh, again, uh, thank Mr. Crabtree uh, for being here today. Uh, we've got a team of, of doctors that uh, we've been questioning and, and getting their input about how they handle uh, these uh, 
cases with high fevers and so forth in each of the uh, medical facilities here in Wayne County. Had a good input yesterday from them. Um, so I, I think we have the right practices in place, but we still have quite a bit to do. And we'll be handling those uh, in the future by box cast and, and, and uh, I'm sorry, uh, conferencing calls and, and things like that. So we will try to keep the public as informed as possible. But uh, just, just God bless Wayne County, God bless our state, and God bless our uh, United States of America. Thank you.